School has done a really tremendous job of connecting people in a really intimate way online. And the way you take that to the next level is having Goose Dunlavey, multi six figure entrepreneur, school games winner and host of the school games mansion. The mansion, this idea that sort of started just for fun is actually becoming a core aspect of what defines the school games. Mm -hmm. Almost everyone comes because they want to meet the leadership. They want to meet mm -hmm. Sam, they want to meet Alex. And you actually realize that what you really wanted was to be in a room where you didn't have to explain yourself. What's some advice that you can share for those beginners out there? Well, most will tell you, and it's probably true, that you'll want to start. I'm here in beautiful Las Vegas in the School Games Mansion. That's correct. And I'm sitting here with the experienced host, the host with the most, Goose. Nice. Thank you for having uh, coming on by, man. Yeah, thanks, thanks a lot for, for being here, Thanks for inviting us into, like, I guess, not your home, but the place <laughs> that you bring everyone together. That's cool, awesome. cool people are always welcome. That's awesome. Why don't yeah. you tell the viewers, like, who you are, what you do, and we'll dive a little bit more into your story. Sure, yeah. Um, so I have the community Captivate. I started that in April of this year, which is about four months ago. And we won the school games, and then the next month showed up to the school games, and then the next month was asked to come back and do what we did at the previous one, unprompted. Uh, which was just make it more lively and fun. Mm -hmm. And so now I just do that regularly. I come back and make sure that the vibes are in check and everyone's having a good yeah. time. So uh, let's go back. So you won the school games. How much money did you make? 34K. 34K. Yeah. And how much was your program? It was 1,000. Okay, dope. So okay. 34 clients. Nice, nice. Yeah. And then what, so, I mean, you gloss it over. I want to hear more about the story though. Like sure. what were some of the the pitfalls, the, the headaches, the mistakes, the Whoa. things you want to pull out your hair? Right, because people watching this right now want to win the school games. Yeah. Right? They want to win the school games. They want to come here to the school mansion. How the heck do they get here? Give us the roadmap. Wow, uh, so the really spectacular thing that you learn, I think a lot of us would agree on that one, once you've won the school games, is you think, wow, if all I needed was a competition to help get me there, mm. I guess I could have done it myself the whole time, <laughs> <laughs> right? It's almost as if the money aspect is like, mm. it's exciting, but not as exciting as like winning something. 100%. So it's like almost a mental game. Mm. So I would probably say the big one is like, go hard, mm -hmm. like really hard. Use all of your resources, something that I hadn't done previously. I'd used a lot of them, but not all of them. Right. And then the second thing I'd say is prepare for fulfillment because that's the real, like that's, the hard part is once you've built a business that works really well, you got to be able to service that business. And that is challenging for a lot of us that haven't been doing it for an extended period of time. Mm -hmm. So once you're done with that step, now once you've stabilized, you're in a place where you not just made this business blow up overnight, well, seemingly overnight, mm -hmm. but you, you stabilized it. Mm -hmm. and got it to a point from then on that you were operating, you were running it. Like, this is your business now. You do this. Mm -hmm. And the problem that we were identifying was a lot of folks were dropping off, which was mm -hmm. completely avoidable because the whole time, you've got all these other people that are going through the same process, same mm -hmm. tri trials and tribulations, yep. and can help each other. Right. And so this was sort of how to address that, how to make sure that everyone stayed playing the game. Mm, that's awesome. Yeah. Frick, that's cool. Like, <laughs> that's... It's just mind blowing. Like it, it seems so simple. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're bringing something that everyone is struggling with and just makes it super transparent, super simple and easy. Okay. Yeah. So now that you're here, what are some of the future goals of the mansion, of the winners? Like what is something you're trying to do and build with yeah. this community? Well, um, one of the big things is that once you, it, it kind of changes. Like, School has done a really tremendous job of connecting people in a really intimate way online. Mm. And the way you take that to the next level is having IRL events, something that's either put together by individuals or communities or even with school games. Right. And right now we're sort of on the forefront of that. So it's kind of setting the tone for what that could look like with masterminds and, and mm -hmm. things of that kind. Um, so the future of it is probably, I mean, even just this month, it, the, the mansion, this this idea that sort of started just for fun mm -hmm. is actually becoming a core aspect of what defines the school games. Mm. Almost everyone comes because they want to meet the leadership. They want to meet mm -hmm. Sam. They want to meet Alex. But it's like the lead magnet, mm -hmm. just like with everything that we're always teaching. Because once you're in, you actually realize that what you really wanted was to be in a room where you didn't have to explain yourself. Mm -hmm. And people are like, oh, yeah, no, totally. I do that, too. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, all these age ranges all at the same time are like, yeah, I get you. Yeah. I understand where you're coming from. 100%. Entrepreneurs are on their own most of the time. Yeah. So this is now a standardized like version. Like This exists uh, as 
a made uh, th this is now a part of school games going yeah. forward and so much so that we're even looking at having all of the meals and everything uh, at the mansion as well and the mansion moves i mean the mansion is an idea it's yeah, not like yeah, a place yeah. It, yeah it's a people See, not a place i thought it was like a physical place yeah but even then, even with it moving, it's dope because you get different experiences every month. Yeah. You know, new people come, get a new experience, right? That's you right. talk about it, right? And this might be something we try, you know, documenting that experience, right? The new mansion, the new, you know, winners of the school games, some yeah. new, some old, right? Maybe you host some, I don't know if you do masterminds or something where oh, people yeah. give their best kind of advice and stuff like that. And uh, it's pretty, you know what I love? Like, it's pretty candid. Like, we got people playing Nintendo in the background, yeah. people eating in the background. We're sitting here in the kitchen, and it's it's kind of cool. It's, it's kind of like this this energy is just, like, different, Yeah, right? That's right. Okay. It's natural. It's natural. Yeah. Uh, one last thing I would say, too, is that uh, we're also looking at doing these. So it's beautiful that you can have all the winners from each month together to meet each other, mm -hmm. but that's not all of the winners being able to meet each other. Mm. So it's just a small sample size each time. Right. So that one of the big future pieces that we're looking at now is what would it look like to start having that more of on a global stage where now you can have annual or semi-annual events which aren't like hosted by school, but mm. that are endorsed or supported mm -hmm. so that you you really are solidifying the network of people that have done something successful and you yeah. want to encourage them to keep succeed succeeding with the network that already exists. Yeah. Something we learned today, I was in a mastermind um, today, and they said that, you know, in order to get the best work done, you work with others. Yeah, right? that's right. And it's amazing how much we got done in one day working with so many people. Yeah. And it just like cuts through the noise of all the bullshit and everyone watching this right now who dream of coming here. Right. What's some advice that you can share that you can remember when you dreamt of like this wasn't even a thing back then. Right. But yeah. I'm sure you had a goal of like, I want to win the school games. Mm -hmm. So let's let's share some advice, share some more wisdom, you know, for those beginners out there. Okay. And and what are they looking for? They're trying to figure they out. They want to win the school games. Oh man. Well, <laughs> take sacrifice. A lot of sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Um They want to get to this mansion that you just beautifully yeah. described, right? They they why I'm asking about your vision is like I want to paint the picture of what their goals are. I, I want to put that on my vision board. I want to put that, I want to be at this global event with all these one percent. The, the most successful coaches and creators mm. running school. I want to be at this event, but now I'm stuck with how? Yeah. So how to win school games? Well, uh, most will tell you, and it's probably true that you'll want to start high ticket. Mm -hmm. You go high ticket, you go for something that's 500 or, or a thousand, something like this. So like yours, right? You yep. start high ticket. Yeah. Ours was a thousand. Yeah. And then you just push like hell. You, you go, you, you have to start with a delicious offer, something that mm. is very hard to say no to. I like that. And it matches your energy, your vibe, that, yeah. that description. A juicy offer. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> way cooler and way better than yeah. like, oh, an irresistible offer. It's like, yeah, yeah it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Let me delicious. rephrase. It's, you need a fucking juicy offer. <laughs> yeah. If your offer is juicy, yeah. then you have no problem getting a, a bunch of people in there. And that's mm -hmm. why I say, mm -hmm. in order to win, you got to push really hard, like more than you normally would, Right. which means you're putting more weight on your fulfillment second month. So you just have to know that your second month will also be challenging, but your first month is going to be something you've probably not done before. Right. If you're hoping to win and if you're not starting from having a, a following from before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of people um, probably watching this right now don't have that following, right? Yeah, so, that's right. So that push that you're talking about, uh, are you talking about with ads, with content? like All of it. Every all avenue, yeah. Okay. I, I won with no following. I, yeah. I never made a single ad. Nothing. And so all of this was just done with the existing school network mm -hmm. uh, and family and friends. Mm -hmm. uh, the, my launch mm -hmm. was an over, was well, overnight, but it was an 8K launch. I sold eight people in the two weeks before and said, the caveat is you have to sign up within this half hour on this day. Can you mm -hmm. do that? If so, all right. I got 15 to confirm and eight to actually do it. So yeah. uh, it's not bad, 50%. Yeah. Uh, and so if you can have something like that in your launch where you're mm -hmm. able to like really plan for a particular day that this takes off, um, the accountability of having them start month to month is significant. Mm -hmm. It really helps out. Mm -hmm. Accountability is a big one. That's like the deadline. You have 30 days to win. Yeah. You're here with the other 10 winners. Mm -hmm. Those kinds of things, just as you were saying, mm -hmm. really helps with setting the tone for making sure you are not in a position to lose. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. So we're sitting here in July, end of July, just celebrated the July winners yeah. of school games. 
any fun plans for August? Oh, actually, this would be the June winners. Oh, June winners. Yeah, these Pardon are June me, winners. the June winners. Okay, yeah. Gotcha. Um, plans for the July winners. Well, we're actually looking at having a bigger mansion with more amenities. Mm. Uh, and assuming that goes, uh, like, assuming we find the place that we're looking for, mm -hmm. it's probably just going to encompass a lot more of all of the Mm -hmm. wonderful feedback we've been getting for the last few months about like, <laughs> I love this more of this, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And almost always it becomes, I want more people like me mm -hmm. that have this mindset to be able to interact with and help me get there while I'm helping them get there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the big one. That's awesome. Are you going to be documenting more this process? You yeah. Know? Yeah. Yeah. I, th I think, I think we, we really have to start documenting more of how this thing works. I mean, honestly, dude, like this is my first time here and just meeting the people and talking with them. It's like, I, I want to like take out my notes and pens and write down all the things yeah. they're saying. Take off your and, shirt, jump in the pool. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, of course. Right. Yeah. Um, that pool looks delicious. Juicy. Um, even. Juicy. So, <laughs> but yeah, you, I mean like coming I'm a little biased, obviously I'm a videographer, right. But documenting that whole process of you guys building this, is so cool. Yeah, it's what it's. You're painting the vision for everyone who wants to win the school games, not just because of the money and the money is impactful and ch life changing, but for the connections and the relationships you build. It's a true community. And we're saying this offline that um, a lot of my uh, uh, entrepreneurial friends are online. Like mm. in my local network, I don't have close entrepreneurial friendships. Yeah, no, yeah, it's tough. Right. So, like, like. This idea that you, how did this like come about? Like, can you explain the story a little bit about that? Like, you just sure. woke well, up one day or what? Uh, for myself personally? Yeah, for start, because you started this, right? This like, whole experience. Oh, the mansion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Uh, yeah, the, the mansion idea was just, I mean, I've always been kind of a room reader. So mm -hmm. if something's off, I'm like, okay, we got to change the music here. The lighting's too off. Like, like this lighting shit. It's cold. <laughs> it's not warm. And those kinds of things, making sure, um, uh, a group of people, their vibe is in check. There's never been like, I, I've never had a, a, it's always just come naturally. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when I was coming to the school games event that I, I had won, mm -hmm. plenty of people were telling me what to expect and what wasn't there. And I was like, oh, well, I mean, if they see this, then easily I could come in and change that. Mm -hmm. And because I had a good picture of what it would look like, I was like, okay, well, I could do some other things too, like bring some music have some merch of some kind, you know, all of these fun intangibles, but some so of them were tangible. Was, so it's very much like off a whim in the sense that you talk to people, they were telling you, oh, I wish I had this, I wish I had this. And you're like, oh, perfect. I'm going to start this thing. Yeah. 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 I mean, this, this came off the back of a community that I started called Cafe, which was just to connect the winners because it didn't exist until then. And even when I was reaching out to everyone, they all knew who I was, but they hadn't talked to me yet. Mm. And I, maybe everyone was just too cool. Maybe it was just too foreign to like reach out. I don't know yeah, what the yeah, roadblocks yeah. were exactly, but as soon as you gave the invite, everyone was like, yeah, let's hang out. Mm. So that's awesome. If you have willing people, then there's nothing standing in your way for making sure that there's a connection between all of it. And so there just had to be a platform yeah. for everyone to stand on. So, yeah. you know, we are a community platform. Mm -hmm. So easy to just have another community Why that does just person? that. Yeah. And then, yeah, that, is, that grew into what became the, the mansion. Dude. That's epic, man. Yeah. So is there anything you want to share to the audience right now? You want to promote? You want to tell people about? Introduce? Maybe tell them where they can find you? Learn more information? Me personally? Um, yeah, yeah. Well, let's see. First question, something that they uh, can something, know. So wrapping up as this. As far as building community, probably. Mm -hmm. um, let me think. There was, there was one question that I was going to answer in particular. Give me a second. About building the community? Yeah, it was about... In person? No, not in, in person. It was about getting your start if you wanted to win school games. Oh, getting start. Oh, yeah, for the beginners. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There was an element there that I, I skipped over. Uh, so you said you have to push. Um, yeah. You have to push really hard. You didn't have an audience. You, it doesn't matter. You could start from zero. Is yeah. the stuff that you said. What was it? Hmm. I don't remember. Yeah, how do you win the school games was the question. Yeah. Um, sacrifice? I think it, I, sacrifice. Yeah, there was something that had to do with the notion of 
I think not having a following. Yeah, yeah. You said you don't have to have a following. You had no following. You never yeah. run an ad before, and you just did it. You made it happen. Yeah. You you figured it out. Yeah, it was, I, I think maybe if I were to add one more piece to that, and then sure. we can conclude yeah. with your your following statements. Yeah. Um, hopefully, I find what the thought was somewhere in there. But the idea was that yeah, if you don't have a following, you kind of you don't really need one. You just need to. You need that juicy offer. <laughs> so you, you really got to peg that down. Oh, yeah. here's what it is. I know okay. what it was. This, gotcha. is, this is good because this, this comes up a lot, but it's kind of a little more on the esoteric side. Okay. So it's a little hippy-dippy. That's fine. <laughs> um, we were just talking about it again today, which was that it's, it's very interesting that a lot of the people that end up winning the school games, whether they've had a following or not, they're usually in environments where they're kind of the only one or their group is the only one that says, yeah, do the entrepreneurship thing. That's cool. I support you. Mm -hmm. And it's as if it's almost as if when you're starting out, you should expect it to be hard because especially if you have no following, because it's almost as if you have to prove to the universe that you're willing to put skin in the game in order mm -hmm. to earn this thing. Because everyone here busted their ass, mm -hmm. and now they're in this position where they can just message or text someone who knows what they're talking about without any kind of mm -hmm. pre-explanation. Mm -hmm. And that is a massive luxury. It's the mm -hmm. most outstanding feature that everyone keeps repeating at the mansion. Mm -hmm. So I would almost say that if you're not feeling pain from starting your thing, then probably you're not doing it right. I mean, what you just described is like any video game. I mean, level one is where the hardest. You're learning how to play. Yeah. You're dying all the time. You're making mistakes. You didn't get you're, the grapple hook you're, yet. <laughs> you're falling off the edge. Yeah. You know, your your friends online are laughing at you. All that kind of shit. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you get to level ten, get to level twenty, and and all of a sudden things get easier. Things get better. You get more confident. You build connections. You build community. Yeah. And it's that discipline, that hard work, and you know, as we got video games in the background, you know, it's like it, it, that's the thing. It's anything we start is going to be hard. Right? How can it not be? Or else everyone would be a school yeah. game winner, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. So, I mean, beautifully said. Juicy offer. You got to work hard. Yeah. You know. And expect pain. And expect pain. What about being, how do you like, your, I want to hear your advice on standing out, being different. Because sure. it's easy to copy someone's offer. Right? I sure. I promise that right. But what makes your offer different? And then maybe um, we can close after that. Okay, sure. Um, so making an offer juicy usually means, in fact, uh, it happens a lot in business. Uh, my recommendation is steal like hell always, mm -hmm. but make it yours and thank them in the process. So mm -hmm. all of my mentors, they're all on school mm -hmm. and they may or may not have like literally been there, but they, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I would learn from them watching what they were doing. And I thanked each and every one of them and said, I took this mm -hmm. uh, and I turned it into this. Thanks for Thanks. helping guide that. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people don't do the thanking part. Yes. M most of them will at least steal. Mm -hmm. Some of them will uh, customize it on mm -hmm. their own. But if you really want success, the two fundamentals are you have to steal it and then customize it, like tailor it to yourself. Uh, and then in the process, you actually get an added boost by thanking these people because they're like, awesome. You learned that from me. Uh, I want to see you win. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. You're like my brainchild now, yeah. right? That That's a really cool element to have. Yeah. It gets people really excited when, when they hear a thank you for I haven't heard of anyone upset like, like, oh, you're winning from my advice? That's amazing. Yeah. Like, how would they be upset? Only if that? you didn't thank them. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. Easy, easy. And then that customizable piece, is there any like secrets in that how you make it more your own is that like knowing yourself more like understanding your, yeah there there's a really phenomenal video it's probably one of my favorite videos maybe one of my favorite speeches ever mm. top two three maybe gotcha and it's by john cleese about creativity mm. and it's this shit recording on youtube but holy crap it's good and mm. one of the things that it talks about in there is that it's not there's nothing that really the studies on creativity stopped a long time ago because mm -hmm. there's no information that we can grasp for it on, right. on it. It's too abstract and yeah, yeah, unpredictable. Yeah. But what you can do is cultivate an environment to make it really good. So if you start with, if you just stole an offer and you're like, I want to do something like that. Well, great. Now you sit with it and someday in the shower, as you're mulling it over, you'd be like, I think I got it. Mm. And after you've had one or two of those, you'll start narrowing down on something. And mm -hmm. once you've launched, like you start doing something, mm -hmm. you can't sit and think for too long. You have to start taking action. And usually yeah. it's when you're moving that the ideas, the best ideas come because your creativity always grows within 
constraint. Mm. Yeah. And so you need to give yourself constraint. Mm. And if you're just thinking about it and you don't give yourself a position to have limitation, mm -hmm. it's not going to happen. So basically, if you want creativity, you want clarity, take action. Well. And the action itself, and what I'm hearing, taking the action will actually create the customizable piece, the aha moment. Yeah, it right? comes from the action usually. You'll, you, most people will think, if I think about it long enough, I can get there. But no, no, it's the other way around. You have to do, you have to do, do something it. with yeah. a general idea mm -hmm. and the rest will come. Dude, so epic, dude. Really, really appreciate this yeah. conversation, this candid, you know, in the mansion, things happen in the background conversation. Is there anything uh, you want to leave us with, where to follow you, where to find you? Totally, yeah. Yeah. You can find me as Goose on school. I'm, I'm there. And in the next, uh, probably by the end of this year, I'll have a book out called Million Dollar Community that talks about all this stuff. Dude. Yeah. That's awesome. So all the links to that will be in the description. Thank you guys so much. Peace. Later. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. Thanks, dude.